It has massive oil and gas reserves, a burgeoning middle class, easy access to the markets of China, Russia, and Western Europe. Why then does the Southern Caucasus and Central Asia region need to continually remind potential investors of what it has to offer? As the World Economic Forum says, the region centered around the resource-rich Caspian Sea, quote, has significant untapped potential. Regional leaders and potential investors from Eastern Europe are in Baku to seek out ways to bring more business to the former Soviet republics. Kazakhstan and especially Azerbaijan are the furthest along the development route. BP for one already has a huge stake in Azeri offshore gas projects, while companies looking for regional hubs have been attracted by well-educated students speaking Russian, English and Turkic languages. You also have the country trying to pose itself as a regional hub uh, for logistics, um, tourism, technology. Um, you know, not, not in all sectors they'll be incredibly successful, but I, I believe they, they stand a good chance in most of the sectors. The trick for the region has been staying friendly with the likes of China, Russia, Iran and Turkey, while keeping close economic ties with the European Union. But the region has seen post-Soviet wars over the past 25 years, whether Georgia and Russia or Azerbaijan and Armenia. And it has Iran and an unstable Afghanistan on its southern borders. While human rights groups say attempts at democracy have long since deteriorated. Still, you can't underestimate the location. This region sees itself at the heart of trade between Asia and Europe. But it still needs upgrades in things like infrastructure and telecommunications. And it sees investment from the West as key. Jim Bolton, CNN. Baku, Azerbaijan.